Good evening, YouTube. This is Bob Placknell reporting to you from my comfy abode right here in Chicago, Illinois. This evening's discussion, this evening's topic is on no... <laughs> uh, sorry. This evening's topic is on Lieutenant Joseph Blinowitz of the Fox Lake Police Department. You know, the guy that... Uh, supposedly was shot by ghosts, you know, people that don't exist, two white guys and a black guy, and they took his gun and his badge and his fucking underwear, whatever they did. Yeah, that guy. You know, GI, what does GI stand for? To me, it stands for uh, Gone Indefinitely. Yes, Gone Indefinitely Lieutenant Joe Glinowitz of the Fox Lake Police Department. All right, I love it. I love how he called on the radio and he caused all of this distress. This humongous, fucking gigantic search for these ghosts. You know, the people that don't exist. You know, the two Caucasians and the African American. Yeah, they had fucking helicopters and fucking tanks, armored vehicles. Everybody was on lockdown. They had several police departments, several law enforcement agencies. Let me retort. Looking for ghosts. When all the while, this guy lied dead. He did it himself. He shot himself in the chest. The bullet hole was behind his bulletproof vest. This guy was an embezzler. He was embezzling money, all right? His wife and kid knew about it. They were, they were fucking, all three of them were assholes, all right? Let me just tell you that. And this, this whole town just, they loved him. Uh, G.I. Joe, I mean, the real American hero. Remember the cartoon? Yeah, that, that cartoon. They compared him to that. All right? The guy is forever going to go down into history as being a fraud, a liar, a cheat, a loser. All right? I mean, look at the funeral procession. I'm looking at, like, shit on the Internet right now. Fucking police motorcycles, police cars, motorcycle gangs, fucking hillbillies and trucks. I don't know. No offense to hillbillies and no offense to trucks. I used to have a truck, and a lot of people call me a hillbilly. But um, I'm north of the Mason-Dixon line, and so is Fox Lake. All right. But anyways, he was painted as a fucking superhero. And like I said, he'll go down in history as a piece of shit, lion scumbag motherfucker. This is Bob Placknow signing off, and as always. Oh, by the way, P.S. <laughs> he kind of looks like Richie Cunningham with tattoos. Or that imaginary friend from Beautiful Mind, you know, the English guy? The, the blonde haired guy, you know, that like to drink and eat fucking pizza? Yeah, he looks like him. So uh, everybody loved him, right? Yeah, he was a strong guy. He had tattoos. He went on fucking lavish vacations. Yeah, on stolen money. All right. I hope this video goes viral. Not really, but I'm just saying. All right, I want to keep this video under four minutes because that's the way Bob boogies. That is the way Bob rolls. Bob has to go now, all right? And Bob wishes you all a great night.